you and I are both um, people of faith, followers of yeah. Jesus. And yeah. I, I was wondering how your faith has impacted your journey as an author. Yeah, that's, that is a great question. Um, and, and a bit of a hard one, because for me, I, I like to write because I want anybody out there to, to pick up what I write and enjoy it. And one of the things that, you know, I, so growing up in, in countries all over the world, um, I grew up with a lot of people that did not believe the same things that, that I believed. And so I became, um, and still think I am really comfortable, uh, with, with talking about things that like, like, are are well outside of the of the Bible, well outside of of you know those those sixty six books, and um and and so in a lot of ways, um my my writing is kind of uh, uh, separate from from my faith, but um, my faith is also a really integral part of of who I am, and um and and in no way do I want what I am writing to be um in in opposition or against or or in any way reflecting um poorly the the things that that i i i believe most deeply um so so uh all of the writing that that i do um i want to have um just kind of like as a baseline uh we'll say we'll say i'm gonna probably use a fairly loaded statement or term here, Christian values. And like, take that for what it is. Um, uh, at the end of the day, do, do the characters um, act in ways that, that uh, portray um, the, the things that we see in, in the Bible? Patience, love, kindness, sacrifice um of, of self for others one, one of the things um and and i kind of alluded to this earlier um one of the things uh about c.s lewis's um narnia series is that he specifically went into it saying like this is not a christian series and like you know removed 60 years from when the, the series was written it sure feels like it and he said like well, of course it feels like it it feels like it because i love jesus that much <laughs> and and so while I don't have a Christ figure within within mm -hmm. the Sundial Odysseys, my hope is that as people read it, they'll see like, oh, there are there are some strong parallels between the kinds of activities that we see in in the Bible and the kinds of activities that we're seeing the um, the, the the characters in in these books um, uh, doing. And, um, and so, and, and, and at the same time, like, I want anybody to be able to pick them up. I want any to be anybody to be able to, to talk about them. And so, um, that's, yeah, that's super important to me too. Like that it, it, there, that it's a series that, um, encourages people to have conversations about, um, about cultures all over the world. Uh, because again, like I grew up in lots of places and I want people to understand uh, what's going on before, like, like we were saying before the, 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 the recording, um, there's a lot of confusion. It's a lot of prejudice. It's a lot of prejudice that we don't even realize that's happening out there. And, um, and in some very, very small ways, I'm hoping that this can help kids, uh, to see that, um, that there's, uh, people all around that are very similar to them that have the same kinds of fears and insecurities that, um, that uh, that they have, but that there um, is common ground, and that and that they don't have to feel like they're um, like those other people are are actually that different. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I, one of the things that I I appreciate about um, what I'm seeing with your approach to writing is that. Um, you are approaching it wanting to um, tell a story, wanting to tell it well, wanting to help people grow and expand as they interact with your story and their characters um, without it being um, preachy. 
Yeah. Um, uh, um, the, I, I'm a firm believer that we need more Christians in the arts, whether that's writing, whether it's painting, whether it's what, whatever. We need more Christians who are going to do quality work that they, their character, their intent, um, shows the love of Jesus, even if um, that is something that's underlying rather than overt. Um, and I have, I think there are um, only a couple of books, um, less than a handful, because I'm one of those people that if I start something, I usually finish it. Um, and even if it's painful, but yeah. I think two out of the three books that I remember starting and never finishing were overtly Christian books where I'm, um, going through this and I'm like, okay, well, you've got this non-Christian character that, I mean, that this is, um, this is their, their verbiage. Everything is, um, so tamed down so out of yeah. the um, ability of being anything like realistic yeah. um, for anyone who's actually been in the real world yeah. that yeah. Um, <laughs> that that it just I, I one book in particular I I bought and I actually borrowed money during my um, internship um, in college to yeah. buy this book because a professor had talked about how great it was. Yeah. And I, I think I made it 60, 70 pages into a 300 plus page book. And yeah. I spent more time complaining about how bad the writing was yeah. than I, I, I did actually reading the book. And finally, I just was like, all right, this is not a good use of my time. Yeah. Um, I'm just winding up more and more angry um because of how poorly this is written so um <laughs> i put it on a bookshelf exactly. never to be seen again um or at least never to be opened again yeah. <laughs> and i i really appreciate the fact that you have a heart to do this well and um i i think that as as we intentionally give voice to give voice and exposure to authors and artists like yourself that are going to do a good job. We will actually have greater opportunity to share our faith. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and you know what, man, that's like, that's very much my, my hope. I, and you know what, this was a conversation 20 years ago, thereabouts when when we were in school and mm -hmm. and it's hard to see like oh it's been 20 years give or take and like it's still pretty bad um and uh and 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 you know what i've had more than a handful of people come up and 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 say like hey are you gonna write a story about like characters from the bible and 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 as m amazing as as some of the characters that we see in the Bible are, um, it's, it's like, there's a lot of people that want to, that want to cover that space. Um, there's mm -hmm. not a lot of people that want to cover some random like person from North Africa that nobody except for the <laughs> handful of North Africans have ever heard of. Um, yeah. it's still an amazing story that, that, uh, is definitely worth telling. So, um, yeah, I, it's, it's interesting to, to kind of go through those, uh, those conversations with people. And it's, it's hard to see some of the things that I've, uh, that I've, that I've seen over the years in this space. Thank you for sharing that. Um, yeah. what advice would you give to someone that has an artistic big dream that God has placed on their heart? Um, to in, but that maybe they're feeling intimidated by it. What, what advice would you give? Good. You should feel intimidated. <laughs> um, 